guys, today we are at Whataburger and we went in and grabbed one of their delicious Buffalo Ranch chicken strip sandwich. We're gonna head on home and I'm gonna show you how to make the low carb version of this just as delicious that you can enjoy at home without the guilt. So let's head on there. Okay, first thing we gotta get started on, we're gonna start making the chicken strips, but we gotta make the breading keto style for the chicken strips. So the perfect mix that I have found, my personal favorite, I like to make a mix of chicharrones and almond flour. So right here, I just have half a bag, depending on how many chicken strips you're going to making. It's just original flavor, you can change up the flavor as well, but if you do wanna make it true to Whataburger's um, copycat chicken strip burger, you're gonna want some plain pork grinds. So we're gonna go ahead and take these, and I like to mix them in my blender so it gets nice and fine for the breading. We're gonna go ahead and add these in. And then I'm just gonna go ahead and mix these up until it's like a fine powder. Okay, close it, and then I'm just gonna push the pulse button and pulse it a couple times. Sometimes you need to give it a little shake, so I just go ahead and mix it around, just so it gets all nice and broken apart. Just like that, literally just took a couple seconds. So we're gonna go ahead and open this up. Now we're gonna add in the almond flour. I promise you guys, this mix is perfect. So if you just do the pork rinds, which I have done before, kinda, sometimes the breading will fall off a little bit. It gets a little too like, with the chicharron flavor. And then if you do just almond flour, sometimes it's gritty and it falls apart. So the perfect mix is between two of them. I'm gonna go ahead and take the almond flour. I'm gonna add in one fourth cup. Remember, depending on how many you're making, I'm gonna add that in and just go ahead and give it a good mix again. Just like that, we're gonna go ahead and add this to a plate. All right, we're gonna go ahead and add our mix to a plate. So we can, it's big enough so we can go ahead and bread our chicken strips. Should be like nice and fine like this. If you have any big chunks of chicharron, it's okay, you can just take them out. I'm gonna go ahead and flatten this out and I'm gonna season this breading. So you can go in with whatever seasonings you like, but I find this to be the perfect mix for them. I'm gonna go in with a little bit of smoked paprika. Just gives it that smoky flavor and it tastes so good. We're gonna add in one teaspoon. We're also gonna go in with some garlic powder. Some black pepper, of course. And then just a little bit of salt. Be careful with the salt because chicharron tends to be a little salty already. You're gonna go ahead and give this a good mix and we're gonna set this off to the side and go ahead and make our wet batter. For the wet batter, you're gonna go ahead and take a shallow dish and I'm gonna go in with two large eggs. Go ahead and crack them in our bowl. If you're making more, then you're gonna wanna go ahead and add in more eggs. Then to get it nice and creamy, of course we can't use milk. That is not keto approved, so I like to go in with a little bit of heavy cream. And you don't need much, we're just gonna add in one fourth cup. Just like that. And then you're gonna go ahead and mix the eggs well with your heavy cream. You do wanna make sure you break your eggs well apart because you don't want any big chunks of eggs sticking to your batter when you bread the chicken strip. So just make sure you mix it very well. All right, once you have your batter nice and mixed, let's bring over those chicken strips. All right, now we got our chicken tenderloins. I'm gonna go ahead and take three chicken tenderloins for my sandwich, and we're gonna season with the same seasonings that we seasoned the breading with. So you're gonna wanna go in with some smoked paprika on each side. Go ahead and flip these over. Make sure you season. You gotta give your chicken some flavor as well. Okay, and then we're gonna go in with a little bit of salt. I'm just gonna season with salt on one side. Then we got some black pepper. Go in on both sides. And I did take out the little, the little tenderloin from the chicken tenders. And then we're gonna go in with some garlic powder as well. All right, we got them nice and seasoned. Now we gotta set up our breading station. So you're gonna take your wet batter first. We're gonna go ahead and put this right here and then you're gonna go in with the dry batter. 
And if you did catch my live last night, guys, I did air fry these chicken tenders. I go live every Tuesday, and I wanted to experiment with this recipe. I wanted it to get as close as I can to the recipe from Whataburger. So I went ahead and air fried them in my basket right here. Before I do do that, I'm gonna go ahead and spray it down with some olive oil spray, just to ensure that nothing sticks to the basket. So I just give it a little spray, and we're gonna go ahead and start breading. So first, you wanna take one of your chicken tenderloins. We're gonna dip it into the wet batter on both sides. Drip off the excess, and then you're gonna go ahead and dip it into the pork grind and almond flour mix. You can go ahead and do it just like this, guys, but I like it extra battered. So I go back into the egg mixture. We're gonna go ahead and cup coat it double so it gets nice and crispy, and then back into the dry, and you're gonna go ahead and put it into your air fryer basket. Now, if you're not air frying these, you can definitely toss them in the oven too. You're just gonna double the time. And go ahead and repeat until you are done with all your chicken strips. I'm only making three today for my one sandwich. If you got a bigger family and you need a double, go ahead and do that as well. Go ahead and coat both sides, drip off the excess. I always use a little tongs because my fingers get all dirty if I go in with my fingers. So it's easier just to use tongs. Make sure you get all nice and coated just like that. Look at that. It's gonna be so good. Toss it to the basket. Back into the wet batter. I always double coat everything when I fry. Just makes it that much better. All right, we got them all nice and coated. Now let's move on to the air fryer. All right, these are going into my air fryer oven. I'm gonna go ahead and air fry these. Mine has a chicken option. So when I go to chicken, it's gonna be 400 degrees for 15 minutes and that was perfectly cooked. All right guys, they are done air frying. Look at these keto chicken strips. Look how crispy they got. You can even just see that crust. So we're gonna go ahead and put these to the side and move on to our toast. All right guys, now for our toast for our sandwich. I'm super excited about this part. So I absolutely love Sola bread. This is a low carb keto version of bread that you can get at your grocery store. I either get it at HEB, Walmart, or you can get it on their website if you do not have it in your area. I like to go in with the sweet and buttery flavor. That's just like the more basic bread that you can go ahead and get. It is two net carbs per slice. So we're gonna go ahead and go in with two of them. And then for our cheese, Whataburger used some Monterey Jack slices. So we're gonna go in with two Monterey Jack sliced cheese. And then you're just gonna, gonna want a little bit of butter. I actually, absolutely, sorry guys. I absolutely love some Kerrygold butter it is the best. Make sure when you are doing keto guys, you have to have a real butter. Do not go in with Country Crock. That is full of vegetable oil. So I recommend some Kerrygold butter. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and turn on our pan. We're gonna toast this in our pan. Make sure you do have it at a low setting because a low carb bread tends to cook a little bit faster than regular bread. We're gonna go ahead and open this up. Go ahead and take out my two slices of bread. This is what they use. They use regular bread on the sandwich. They don't use burger buns. They go in with some awesome Texas toast. So this is gonna be a good replacement. We're gonna take our Kerrygold butter and you're just gonna spread it on each slice of Sola bread. And then we're gonna go ahead and put it straight down into our pan. We're gonna take the other one, put a generous amount of butter. Make sure you get all those edges. Put it down in your pan. Then you're gonna take two slices of cheese. We're gonna put a slice of cheese on each bread because they do coat it on each side. So again, we're going in with some Monterey Jack cheese. We're gonna put one slice and then another slice and you're just gonna let your, get, your bread get nice and crispy and let your cheese melt. Okay, it's lightly toasted. So when you look at Whataburger sandwich, they always just lightly toast their bread just like this and they still have that buttery look to it. So we're gonna go ahead and turn off our heat. Our cheese is nice and melted. And let's hurry up and go assemble the sandwich because I'm super excited. 
All right, let's assemble this sandwich. I'm super excited. We're gonna go ahead and take one of our solo breads with our cheese on top. We're gonna place it down. Now, solo bread tends to be a little bit of a smaller bread, so depending on how big your chicken strips are, you can probably fit about two or three. So we're gonna go ahead and place these down. Look at how crispy that looks. We're gonna place another one down, and as you can see, it's probably gonna fill up your whole solo bread. So we're gonna do two for right now, then, we got to go in with the toppings. I absolutely love H-E-B's ranch dressing. So if you have an H-E-B near you, I highly recommend this ranch dressing. Or you can make your own homemade. Or you can go to Whataburger, pick up their ranch dressing. Whatever kind of ranch dressing you want to use, go ahead and do. So we're going to go in with a tablespoon of this ranch dressing. They just drizzle it right on top. It's going to get nice and messy, but that is literally the best part about this sandwich. So we're going to go ahead and drizzle it on each keto chicken strip. Then, of course, we got to go in with the buffalo sauce. My favorite buffalo sauce is Sweet Baby Ray's. So you can get your hands on this one or any other buffalo sauce that you like to use. Or again, pick up some from Whataburger and you can use their buffalo sauce. We're going to go in with a tablespoon of this. We're going to drizzle it right on there. Ooh, look at that. And just a little tip, guys. Whataburger does have this buffalo sandwich version and they have a barbecue one. So if you want to get your hands on Sweet Baby Ray's, is that what it is? Yeah, Sweet Baby Ray's sugar-free barbecue sauce, they have that option as well. All right, lastly, we're going to top it off with the other slice of solo bread and cheese. And here is our low-carb version of Whataburger's Buffalo Ranch Chicken Sandwich. All right, guys, and here is the comparison. Here is Whataburger's chicken strip sandwich, and here is our low-carb version. And I gotta say, when I did try it, it is amazing. It's definitely close to it. The texture is gonna be a little bit different on the breading, of course, to the chicken strip, because Whataburger is so good. But I promise you, this low-carb version, you're definitely going to enjoy it. Now, I tried this last night. I already know it's delicious, but of course, I gotta go ahead and try it for y'all and show y'all what it looks on the inside. Mm. Oh, it's so good. The buffalo sauce, the ranch, the melted cheese, the nice buttery bread, 10 out of 10. All right, guys, if you happen to make this low-carb sandwich, head on over to my Facebook page. I would absolutely love to see some pictures of y'all enjoy it. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button, subscribe to my channel, and I will see you on the next one. I'm going to head off and finish this delicious sandwich. <laughs> Linky. <laughs>